in our previous videos where we've been studying factoring, I've always put a flow chart up for you to take a look at so you could keep remembering the steps as you're factoring polynomials. So let's go ahead and take a look at that flow chart again because we're going to factor trinomials in this video clip. And so I'd like to remind you that my broken record is going on and that you always need to take the greatest common factor out first in any um, polynomial. And then, would you count the number of terms in that polynomial that you'd like to factor? And we've already um, completed a, a couple of video clips on if there were four terms and you factored by grouping. And we've also done some work with three terms a polynomial that is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. But when we, um, in the previous clips, a was equal to 1. In the next few clips, I'd like to focus on uh, the concept if a is not equal to 1. In other words, maybe you have 2x squared plus 3x minus 7. Or maybe you have a 12x squared plus 3x minus 5. So this number right here is not going to equal a 1. Let's go ahead and first, before we um, actually do a problem, let's look at um, some multiplication. So a very, very, um, um, a previous experience where we would FOIL uh, a couple of binomials. So let's just FOIL these two binomials. So 2x times x is 2x squared, and 2x times 1 is 2x. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 1 is 3. And finally, these are my like terms. They add to be 5x. So I have a trinomial, trinomial that is called 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. My goal now in this clip is to take this trinomial and factor it back into this form. Previously, when this was a 1, all we needed to do was look for two numbers whose product was 3 and that added to be 5. Well, think about this example. There is no such thing. There are not two numbers whose product is 3 and where they add to be 5. So I'm going to share with you now something called the AC method for factoring. The AC method takes this number and this number. This is A, this is B, this is C. It takes those two values multiplies them together, and you look for two numbers whose product is 6 and adds to be 5. And that will work if the trinomial is factorable. Um, many of us um, do not need a, a process, and we can, we can go ahead and, let, let's go ahead and use this very example again. Um, let's say I have this 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Many of us can just look at that and say, well, I'm going to put a 2x here and an x here because I know that when I multiply those first terms together, I'd get 2x squared. And many of us would look at this and they'd say, geez, when I FOIL this out to check it, I need to have two numbers right here that multiply by to be 3. And so some of us might just try some options. You might put a 1 here and you might put a 3 here. This is guessing and checking. But when you FOIL this, yes, you do get the 2x squared, but right here you get a 6x, and right here you get a 1x. And those two like terms add to be 7x. They don't add to be 5x. So if you were guessing and checking, then you might say to yourself, let's go ahead and put the 3 here and the 1 here. And so this, these outside products is a positive 2x, the inside products is a positive 3x. Those like terms do add to be this middle term of 5x, and I have my answer. I would say 20% of my students can, can and or like to do this. They like to guess and check. Um, but I would like to offer an alternative to this, and that is um, a method that works every time. So I've got to take this right away. And that is to take this a value and this c value and multiply those together. So find two numbers whose product is a times c. In this particular case, product is the number 6. And those two numbers that you find have to add to be the middle coefficient, which in this case is 5. So I'm going to be the devil's advocate, and I'm going to remind you that surely you can always use 1 times the number itself, 
but those don't add to be 5. And then let's go ahead and try 2 times 3, and they do add to be 5. What we're going to do, I've got to grab a colored pen here. What we're going to do is we're going to take the middle term of this trinomial, and we're going to replace it with a 2x, let's go ahead and write it down, a 2x and a 3x. Now, isn't 2x plus 3x equal to 5x? And so we haven't changed the problem at all. We've just replaced this. Now we're going to bring down this 3. And then this was a positive 2x. So we're going to bring down the 2x squared. And now we're going to go ahead and group the first two terms and group the last two terms because we have a polynomial in four terms. And when we learn to factor a polynomial in four terms, we grouped two terms, we grouped the last two terms, and we took the greatest common factor out here, which in this case is a 2x. And then in the parentheses, we need an x plus 1. And here we take the common factor of a 3 out, and therefore we would need an x plus 1, because 3 x times x is 3x, and 3 times 1 is at 3. And we said that if these matched, remember, and that's we know they are factorable because they do, that we write that binomial out once, and then the 2x and the 3 would go in their own set of parentheses, Please remember, I have previously written this in its factored form as 2x plus 3 times x plus 1. It doesn't matter which way you write this, and we can go back and check this to see if we got it correct.